The financial benefits of using solar might soon be taking a hit here in Arizona. We're very concerned as to what this will mean for uh, the more than 250,000 Arizonans who already have solar. The Arizona Corporation Commission will be meeting next week to discuss the state's current policy for solar users. Right now in Arizona, if you use solar, if those panels provide more energy than you use, it can go back to the grid and in return. You'll get a credit based on when you first got solar and for how long. And that credit, it can be used to then help pay your electric bills. This credit system already took a hit in 2017 when the Corporation Commission allowed utility companies to cut just how much credit solar users get by 10% every year. Pro-solar nonprofits like Solar United Neighbors are worried this could cut the credit system even more or even worse, get rid of it altogether. If we move to a system where homeowners are no longer compensated at an adequate rate for their solar production, we're going to be in a situation where significantly fewer Arizonans are going solar in the future. We spoke to homeowners who use solar like John Bear in Phoenix. He says the savings is what led him to invest in panels in the first place, especially since he works from home. Start saving a little bit of money uh, as far as not having to pay a big electric bill, especially during the summer months when sun is so abundant and plentiful um, and we don't have a whole lot of tree coverage. Bear feels homeowners like him that made the switch to solar, spending tens of thousands of dollars installing the panels, are going to end up losing money instead of saving it, which could push future potential solar customers away. So the meeting is set for next Wednesday here in Phoenix, where the commission will let the public voice their ideas and concerns on the state's solar policies. All right, Stephen Saravia here in the studio tonight. Stephen will continue to follow that. In the